agile project management is just a tool and not a solution. Indeed, once a project, an organization or a team implement agile, it does not mean they get away with all their problems. Indeed, the nature of the problems change. Scrum also provide ceremonies like retrospectives or review to identify the problem and potentially resolve them. Point I am addressing today is how to make retrospective process more engaging, effective and efficient to ensure we get maximum benefit out of this ceremony. If you are like me or any other scrum master, a normal retrospective, what we have done well, what can be improved, any other idea on a piece of excel sheet, a flip chart or an online retrospective board. Few weeks back, I attended Lego Serious Play workshop on leadership and so I thought why not apply Lego Serious Play on my retrospective. I divided my entire team of six people into two separate subgroups. Each member were given a simple task. These are the set of Lego blocks and they have to create a model in the next 30 minutes that describe the project problems and the solutions. At the end of 30 minutes, each of the team member created wonderful models. After that, each one need to present them to their respective subgroup in 2-3 to three minutes. Once the entire exercise is completed by each of these two subgroups, I ask them to combine the individual three models into one model, which means I have two separate models describing problems and solutions. At the end of 40 minutes, each of these sub teams presented their models describing what it is and how we can solve problems within our team. The entire exercise of one and half hour went in a ziffy. No one felt it's boring, it's monotonous. Indeed, it's extremely engaging. I find it extremely efficient because demonstrate it using metaphors, using blocks, using colors. And it's extremely effective because now we can take these models and present it to our product owner, to our project manager, to stakeholders, to dependent teams and ask them what can be improved, how we can move the blocks around. If you have any other idea of how you do retrospective in your team in a different way, put that in the comment section below and I will be happy to know that. Also, if you have any new idea or anything that you want me to present in Agile Space, do let me know. Follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn and you can get a regular update on Agile and Scum practices.